All right, YouTube, how are you guys doing today? Uh, good to see you again, and I'm glad you're back, and I'm glad to be back. It's been a minute. So, today, I have two unboxings for you. One's a six cents. Uh, that's the April box, so I know we're at the end of April. Uh, you've probably already seen this, but I just got mine, so we're going to open it up today. But there's one I'm particularly, particularly excited about is I have an order from Super K Jigs um, that just came in today as well. So uh, I'll be happy to share that with you. And so, hey, let's just get into it. So, open these up. Now, I have not seen too many April unboxings or anything. So I'm kind of excited to see what is in here so this is I think I get the tailored sack um, black bag this time so the tailored sack is not so tailored uh, specifically to me but it's kind of tailored to the depth of water the clarity of water that I chose on their website um, and they just send me uh, product that uh, that kind of coincides with the choices I've made. So let's take a look in the bag and see what they sent. So looks like the first thing is the Divine Shaky Worm Watermelon Candy. Uh, I have some of these. They're really nice. Um, I hope this is coming in for you okay. Uh, we can get one out and take a look at it. I like the way Six Cents packages their stuff. It's pretty easy to Uh, get to. I like how they have the little clam shells. This is really good. Obviously, it's called a shaky worm, and that's exactly what I'm going to be doing with it. I'm going to get myself a shaky head, and I'm just going to fish that around the rivers around here. Uh, should work like a charm for the smallies this time of year, and I'm excited to use it. It's watermelon candy, and it's a good color, and we'll see if I can get it put back without looking like a moron. usually does not work out well for me but this time it did so what's next we have the divine swim baits I think this is a 3.8 yeah so this is called clear water rose this should be a really good color I have some muddy areas that I could really fish these around in um, I'll use these up and uh, it, this really uh, you know they always say match the hatch this does it for me here, so I'm excited to use that. Uh, everybody knows six cents, um, and they work. What's next? So we have uh, the Cloud 5.4 Black and Blue Flake. So this is money for me, and I can Nico rig this. I can wacky rig it. I can Texas rig it. I can do all kinds of stuff. And black and blue flake is money for me. I can do anything, just about any bait, I can get black and blue flake and get some kind of productivity to it, uh, out of it rather. And it's a nice, uh, it's a 10 count, so that's great. Now, another really good one. This is the Curb 55. Let's see if I can get it out for us here. This is a nice bait. I don't know if you take it. Uh, I don't know what they call it. It's obviously chartreuse. What are they calling it here? Curve crank. It's called blue, blue truce shad. And it, I mean, so you have that kind of blue top on there with some some kind of metallic flake and then you obviously you can see the chartreuse and then the red gill plate I don't know if that's picking up for you it's a looks like a medium diving uh, crankbait I'm sure they're calling it uh, dives five to nine feet and it's a three-eighths ounce this is really good for around here uh, this color especially this time of year 
and that depth uh, it is it is pretty lethal so uh, that'll be here we go there we go that'll be real useful for me uh, so that'll go right in the arsenal the next thing and um, we have the quake 70 which is an awesome bait uh, quake 70s are just man they're they're the best so um, what do we have this is called snoop shad Let's get it out here so quake 70 if you're familiar with six cents it's a lipless crank bait and they make I think some of the best lipless crank baits um, I mean six cents hard baits just all of them they're so well made and I, I'm telling you between the the build quality and the hooks I don't know for the price point that you can get better hard baits for the price point I, I mean I see stuff uh, go for twice this much and um, just don't have the quality or it's very similar quality so they they do a really good job so that's a nice kind of a tinny not really a low low knock it's more like a really tinny sounding um, rattle to it and that's just a great color and um, I'm always excited oops to get lipless crank baits if I can get it back in the box without the box winning so that again um, this won't sit around. This will go right into the box. What do we got here? Oh man. So we have the Splashback 70, a 3 8 ounce. This is a popper style bait. And I think it's the, uh, yeah, Black Magic. So I have some current baits that are Black Magic. And this color is just phenomenal. This is a beautiful color. It is literally just black. It's got a little bit of, I don't know what we want to call that, just a little, it's almost like a hint of chartreuse, and you can see they stick it in, and I don't know how well camera's picking that up, but they just do a really good job of putting just a little bit of metallic flake in there. You can see this thing just black with some blue uh, accents to it, and I'll tell you what, not quite ready yet not quite but when it is this will do some work uh, at least in my region and if you don't know I'm in Pennsylvania so I'm in the Northeast mid-Atlantic so uh, you know we're not we're not we get iced over and stuff but we're not like up there in Michigan and, you know upstate New York where you know they get snow in April and stuff but uh, right now into April, things are really turning on around here. So, last one, I think. Yep, last one is the Crush Mini 25 MD. This is called the Sexified Chartreuse Shad. Let's get it out. Some of these names for lures, huh? I got, I love them. So this has got kind of a holographic uh, top and then a, like a chartreuse bottom. It's like a purple, uh, it's like a metallic purple silver color. It, it's really nice, uh, great size. And again, that perfect, perfect size. And I bet it will be four to seven feet and that is the perfect running depth for uh, some of our rivers and lakes around here or rivers and creeks around here where the Somalis are starting to go nuts so again another bait that won't hang out here too much it'll go right to the box and I will put it to use so um, that's everything for me for April in the tailored set so overall, and, and always, I, I don't think I've ever gotten anything from Sixth Sense where I'm just like, oh man, that, that sucks. 
because um, really everything they have now is is I mean it's nice stuff. I don't use everything um, that they make, but uh, you know when you make quality stuff, you make quality stuff. Now here is my box from Super K Jigs that I ordered again just to clarify with everybody I'm not affiliated with anybody um, you know one day one day but for now I'm a paying customer I'm happy to do that and I'm happy to share the stuff I like with people um, you know hoping that they'll use it and, and, and be as productive as I am because I, I can be pretty productive and particularly with Super K Jigs um, some of the stuff's new, I haven't tried before, but particularly, uh, they're swim jigs, and they're down in here somewhere, I think, I hope, but until then, let's just start unboxing and see what else I got. So, um, this is the, uh, I hope they put the color on here for me, yeah, it's, uh, these are the spinner baits. I, I bought one, two three of these spinner baits and it's a uh, limited edition and they call it spring fever for the obvious reasons that it's a nice red and black and this thing is sick and I really think I can do some damage with it here uh, in my neck of the woods so and I still have some time especially with this color so I got three of them one and we'll just get right into that right away when I hit a hundred subscribers I'm gonna give one away along with some other stuff but this is the first thing we're going to set aside for some somebody, one of you, hopefully. So, um, I still have two for myself. So these will go right to work. Uh, I'm excited to use these. Super K, uh, they're, I've, I've only used their jigs up till now. Um, but their build quality is, is excellent. And it's, it's a jig, when you buy it, you don't have to modify it. You don't have to cut weed guards. You don't have to do anything to the skirt or anything. Um, so they make really good stuff. And I can take it right out of the little package and go fishing with it. I don't have to worry about hook sets, anything like that. Um, so so I, I really like them. They, they're build quality. They, they hand tie them. They're great. So anyway, the spinner baits I haven't used yet. And we'll let you know how they work. But this color is sick. Man, I love them. Um, maybe I got four. Three for myself. So I did, of course, when I get spinner baits, I can't. Uh, this is just called Pearl White and White Spinner Baits. I, I don't know where they don't work. Um, I, I have to have them. So. Um, yeah, I grabbed a couple of those. Again, three eighths ounce. It's kind of man, that, that's kind of the magic number for me, uh, at least again in my neck of the woods. So um, let's see what we have here. There's the packing slip. All right, here comes some jigs. Now let's see what I got. I did get a couple bladed jigs just to try out. Maybe I only got one. Maybe I got two there. Okay, so what I got was these are called, uh, this color is called Skeeter. It's black and blue. These swim jigs. And I will not take up too much time explaining what I do. But you can see, here's what I mean about no modifications. Hopefully you guys can see this. All right, it's black and blue skirt. Look at that. That is perfect. Okay, I don't have to cut that back. It's not real heavy. It does the job. And man, I do not miss. I, I do not miss. That is why I, I use them. And the quality. I can catch fish after fish after fish with these. And I beat them up. I, I drag them through rocks and everything. So these, these swim jigs, um, I literally just, I take a crawl trailer. Specifically, I fish them with the Guggen Crack and Crawl. Um, sometimes Bruiser baits, uh, I forget what their, their crawl bait is, but typically it's a Guggen Crack and Crawl. I just bite about a half inch off there or cut a half inch off there. 
I hook it up on there and I literally take it and swim it just off the bottom just enough to start getting those little those little uh, claws moving right and that's that's it just swim it if it's, nothing's happening you know um, I'll slow it down I might try to bounce it off the rocks whatever but typically I just swim it and nothing's happening I've speed it up bring it up into the water column just a little bit and man are they just they're just magic they are my absolute confidence bait uh, this color particularly one color I did order but I do have is and I'll show you quick and I pair this with a June bug this is just purple and black and it is it, it, it is money around here I can throw either of these and and it doesn't matter if I run out of one I can just tie the other on you know and, and they work so well now another color that does phenomenal for me is this and it is just called black chartreuse again I don't fish them any different again you can see Look at that. I mean, I have to do absolutely nothing, and they just work so well. Hand tied. And you can see that's just a nice, durable skirt on there. Again, I just pair it with that crawl trailer. It, it doesn't, whatever crawl trailer you like. Just get it up there. Get those, get those things just moving. Swim it. You can mess around with it. It's a swim jig. You can do just about anything you want with it. But uh, I find I find those transition points where mud and rocks start colliding. I get on the edge of weed beds, things like that. And man, I'll tell you what, this color too. And I fish a lot of stained water, so so obviously I, I'm getting these, you know, um, darker colors to leave contrast in the black and chartreuse. So not to ramble too much. Uh, you get the idea. I like them, um, and and they're worth a try. If you haven't used them. And if you haven't thrown a swim jig at all, use them. Try them. Try one out. So, I got two bladed jigs from uh, Super K. They call them uh, Clackens. They're 3 8 ounce. I have one. It's Bluke. And one that is Chrome Melon. So, uh, these colors here are going to be money. And I wonder if I got... I wonder if there's assembly required here or if that thing okay so no they uh looks like the, i'm gonna have to put the blade on myself um which kind of stinks i think they might have done that for packaging purposes but it looks like it just goes right on there so there it is i'm excited to use them i'm a big jackhammer guy i'm just curious uh so i i, I didn't want to go spending a bunch of money on on them because you know i i don't know and i, and I haven't fished these a lot and um I, I don't know much about uh super k's uh what do they call them they're, they're bladed jig they're the clacking um, so I, I just thought it would be uh, interesting to, to try them out and uh, I'm excited to do so so this color is Bluke uh, which is basically black and blue and this is the what was that that was like chrome melon so again really nice color though and I'll tell you what even if I don't like their bladed jig, I'll just leave that blade off of there, and I'll have a nice jig. So, that's all I got for you today. Uh, I have some exciting stuff coming. Kayak. Uh, I upgraded this year, so I'm doing some work. Getting a trolley put on, fish finder. Um, do, so, I'm doing some work on it. I'm excited to share that with you. So we'll get a walkthrough on that, hopefully here in the next few days. And then 
we'll get out and do some fishing. So remember to like, subscribe, uh, help me out here, help me grow a little bit. Remember, I'm starting to set stuff aside for you, and uh, I'm happy to share that with you, um, and um, somebody will get that. And, uh, you know, try some of this stuff out. Uh, definitely check out Six Cents. Um, it's a good way, listen, if you, it's a good way, if anything, is to try, to try new stuff. Um, any of those subscription based boxes if you like them and you like the stuff you're getting um, it's one of those things uh, you know if you're getting a box of stuff and you don't like it don't keep paying for it obviously um, but but some of these subscription services they send you nice stuff and it's a good way to kind of build your 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 backlog so to speak uh, um, and to try new things it, it definitely has got me out of my box um, and, uh, I think that's all I have for you. So, like, subscribe, sorry to ramble, and, uh, hope to see you again soon.